Hello nerdies. For today's video we will be talking about the issue on Ping and Nut's upcoming series I'm the Most Beautiful Count, and why some Thai fans aren't as happy as international fans after watching the pilot episode of it and doesn't want it to be produced anymore. Change 2561 announced their upcoming series lineup last April 25, 2024 and one of it is I'm the Most Beautiful Count which is based from a popular Thai webtoon. I'm the Most Beautiful Kun Kun in Siam by Yuen Kin Pakati Van Fra. According to the webtoon, the story is about the famous actor, Prince, who came out not long after as queering rose to the top of the entertainment industry. However, one day he wakes up in the body of a good-looking noble in the Thongbury kingdom of the past. The plot in the webtoon is similar to the pilot video that Change 2561 released. However, here's where the issue begins. According to some Thai fans, the reason why they're disappointed about the pilot episode is because they didn't see the part about politics. According to one of the explanations of a Thai viewer who read the webtoon, he said that the webtoon mainly tackles about political issues and the king who is looking for acceptance as a gay man. He described Kosan, Ping's character, as a hated royal, a rebel, gay and had been imprisoned probably due to his sexuality. It is also written that in the Thai ancient beauty standards, Kosan's appearance goes against the norm. Due to him having muscular physique, a 190 centimeter height, tan skin, sharp eyes and fierce face. And did you know that because of this description in Kosan's character, a lot of Thai fans doesn't agree with Ping getting the role? They feel that he's not that tanned for the role and they prefer Net to act for the role instead. Nut's performance on the other hand was greatly praised however some were not impressed with the remaining actors. Going back to the topic, it is also said that the webtoon isn't supposed to be centered about finding word X lover which is how the pilot episode sum up the story. If you watched the pilot episode, Nut throws a line there that goes like he needs to find out who among the three characters does his character have a secret relationship with for him to be able to go back in the present time. They also added that it shouldn't be a harem nor a comedy but it is a dark funny webtoon focusing on the clash of political powers and Wuridek from the new era's main job is to help Chayachet, Kosan's younger brother, played by Athon, from becoming a pawn and repeating the same history again. I have to admit that in the pilot episode one was actually confused at what Chayachet's role is, aside from him betraying Wuridek in one of the scenes. I think the producers decided to make his character's importance in the series a surprise for the viewers. Because of this social media feedback, on May 3, 2024, Change 2561 released an official statement to clarify the issue. According to them the content that was publicized was merely a pilot series to inform all parties that this series will be produced. The purpose was to showcase the mood and tone of the series, and maybe to introduce the actors who will star in the series and not the actual content that will be in the series. This statement clarifies the issue about the series being too different from the original story. The second statement is a little bit disappointing for fans who are eagerly anticipating this series to air this year. According to company, it will require them approximately one more year to complete the production of this series, as they are currently in the script development stage. I guess it really takes a lot of time for a good craft to be produced. They also added that they appreciate all constructive feedback, suggestions, and useful comments from the audience and they will use them as guidance to ensure the best production of the series moving forward. In the last statement, they also tackle about those people who are just spreading hate to the actors. They emphasize that they will take legal action against those people who will post false information, offensive language, or defamation towards their actors, executives, or their company. And I really do hope that those people will get punished for it. In conclusion, I find that the problem here is that people thought that the pilot episode is the main trailer for the whole series and let's not hate on those people who gave constructive criticism against the series, especially to those who just wants justice for the original story to be told. I totally understand that. As they said, it's a famous webtoon in Thai and if ever my favorite story will also be changed drastically, I will also be disappointed. However, let's also respect the decision of the company for assigning the characters to a specific actor. And let's give the actors the benefit of the doubt as there is always a room for improvement and I'm sure that the company will also take note of that. Well, that's all for today's video. Let me know your thoughts about this topic and see you on my next video. Bye everyone.